they started hurting a little bit and I was like, oh, okay. Like, my dentist didn't really warn me about pain or anything like that. Hey guys, it's Roxy. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about spacers and separators. So if you guys don't know what spacers or separators are, they are just another form to get you ready for braces. There are a lot of other processes and things you can go through to get braces. Not everyone has to get spacers. Some people do have to get spacers. Why I say spacers slash separators is because it depends what your orthodontist or your dentist place wants to call them. I know some dentist place call them spacers and some people call them separators. When I was going through the spacers process, I looked up on YouTube and there wasn't that many videos on them. So I thought I would make my own because I kind of just want to put like what I went through out there. Hopefully it helps some of you guys. Comment down below if you guys know someone who got spacers or if you've had spacers or if you are getting spacers. Just let me know down below. We can have a little conversation. So basically when I had my spacers, I logged everything that I felt, everything that I went through, all the pain, just everything I logged. But before I get into that, I'm going to be telling you guys some background information if you don't know what spacers are. By the way, I'm getting braces soon. I've wanted braces for the longest time. When people get spacers, they can get up to eight, I'm pretty sure. I'm not exactly sure, but usually people get it on the top and on the bottom, both sides. So for me, my top teeth are really, are pretty much really straight. So my bottom teeth were the only ones that I really needed to do it with. So, um... I had two on this side of the bottom teeth and I had two on this side of the bottom teeth. And if I can find a picture, I will put it on the screen um, so you guys kind of know what I'm talking about. So spacers it can be different colors. They're just like rubber bands, but they're like tiny rubber bands. They can be blue, they can be clear, they can be white. They can be like an assortment of colors. Also, a very important thing that I also want to mention is that I got my spacers at 11 o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday morning. I got them on like my second week of summer. So yeah, it was really nice that I didn't have to go to school when I had them on. So for all of you guys that have not had spacers, I kind of want to explain how they feel. There are different ways to describe how they feel. So for me, it felt like I had a popcorn kernel stuck in the middle of my teeth and I really wanted to get it out, but you can't, that's not good. Also, if you lose a spacer while you're in the process of trying to get them done, then at least at my dentist, my orthodontist, they told me to call them right away and to come, and hopefully they would let me come in right away because I had spacers on for a week and you don't really want to interrupt the process because that's not good. So that is all for the background information. Let's go to how I felt each day. So the day that I got spacers was a Tuesday, like I said before, and it was 11, 11 o'clock in the morning. And it doesn't take them that long at all to put the spacers on. I thought it would take them a lot longer, but it didn't. When they're putting on the spacers, they don't really hurt unless it's like really tight in between your teeth. So on one, okay, so I got four spacers in total. So only one of my spacers really hurt when they were putting it in. Like there wasn't a lot of room, so the dentist was really struggling with putting it in there. So 11 o'clock from when I got my spacers to like five o'clock, I was like completely fine until I like sat down to have dinner. They started hurting a little bit and I was like, oh, okay. Like my dentist didn't really warn me about pain or anything like that. So yeah, this was like totally new to me. I'd never had anything like this in my life. And it was just, they should have, I felt like they should have told me more information. My spacers started hurting around dinner time, but I could still like eat normal foods. Like I remember Tuesday night I had pizza and it was fine. That was it for Tuesday, that was day one. It really wasn't that bad. So for day two, which was a Wednesday, I woke up really late and so I skipped breakfast and I went straight to lunch and I wanted 
I was like eating chicken, I remember, and I tried to bite down on the chicken and I couldn't do it. It like really hurt. So I like, I couldn't even really eat the chicken. I, I remember like trying to cut it up in small pieces. I just could not bite into it. And I mean, I'm sure you guys have had chicken before. Chicken is like, it's not very hard. So I was like really confused. So I couldn't have chicken for lunch. That made me really sad. Around five o'clock, I felt a lot of pressure around my teeth. I could definitely feel that my teeth moving and just very sensitive and to touch them, like to t when I went to touch my teeth, like they felt really weird. Like I could definitely feel the movement and my teeth were very uncomfortable that they were in there. Wednesday, I just couldn't eat anything hard. There's not really much to say. Day two, I just could not eat anything hard. I actually thought about taking medicine because the pain was actually like hurting me quite a bit on Wednesday, but I didn't end up doing that. But if you have spacers and they hurt a lot, then I would recommend having or taking medication. On Wednesday, I remember I just, I really wanted to yank them out, but I couldn't do that. So on to day three, which was a Thursday. I was absolutely sick of eating soft foods. I was really craving chips and I actually was craving Chinese food and <laughs> I don't know why I just had to tell you guys that. I just like, I couldn't eat what I wanted to eat. Like I had to stick to soft foods. If you guys are getting spacers soon, I would recommend stocking up on a lot of soft foods. So what I ate like the whole time, like throughout the whole time I had spacers was applesauce, soup, yogurt, and ice cream, and anything else you can think of that is just like really soft. So day four having my spacers, which was a Friday, my teeth barely hurt. I could eat hard foods by day four Friday, but I still had to be a little bit careful. So after that, like I said, I had spacers for seven days, a whole week. So um, I actually stopped logging after the fourth day because the other three, what am I doing? The other three days that I had my spacers, they just like didn't hurt. Like I barely felt them in there. So if you guys are getting spacers, don't worry about the pain. It does hurt a little bit, especially on day two and three, but it's bearable. So don't stress about it. It's okay. You'll get through it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'm hoping to do a lot of videos of me going in the process of getting braces. So if you guys are gonna get braces soon, then I hope that helps you. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye. Love you. Peace out, Girl Scout.